good morning children welcome to today's physics class today's class will continue learning about the chapter light so last class we learned about the reflection of light and also we learned about mirrors the mirrors have a highly polished surface and also they are uh, coated with silver and red painted that is how they are able to reflect the light whatever falls or almost whatever falls on them so you can see my hand i am holding a plain mirror as i told you you can see the back side how it is uh, silver coated and also it is uh, uh, painted and this is the surface where the glass a smooth flat surface that is why it is called as the plain mirror as it having the flat surface it is called as the plain mirror so we are going to learn about the images see when we hold uh, the if for example i am holding this pen and you can able to see if you hold in front of that you can able to see the image of the image of the marker what i am having in my hand in the plain mirror so this all of you have every day when we are see in our in the mirror ourselves so now the what you see inside what you see that is actually on on the mirror it is called as the image so images how are they formed that's what today's class and also about the uh, images formed on plain mirrors and what are the characteristics it has we are going to learn so to understand that just we will same thing only have drawn this is the plain mirror so i have presented it with the a uh, simple uh, diagram and here any object as i told you this uh, pen or any object or if you are standing so image will be formed so object and this is the object this is the plane mirror and you will see the image in the plane mirror so this all of all of us know so the previous class children we learned about the pinhole camera do you remember that even the first class i first uh, introduction a video i had we were we discussed in that class also we discussed so the pinhole camera also we were able to capture and we were able to capture a image do you remember that so if suppose you are focusing on a tree we will be able to get that on the screen which you will make on the pinhole camera so that image is different from the image what we are getting on the plane mirror what how are they different children very good so in that you might have seen if suppose tree is the object you will be say you will be see the image likes yes so here in the arrow if you arrow if you consider as the head of a person the you will see the image also same whether it is called as the upright the image is upright in case of plane mirror but if it is pin hole or even the concave mirror when you are going to learn in the upcoming classes so sometimes the mirror image will be upside down this is upside down no upside down if we, if it is represented in the arrow same way that will be like this that is upside down so they are these two images are different that's why i am saying this as an example images are of two types children very good they are the real and virtual so real images and virtual images in detail before learning about the image formed on the plane mirror just we will know the basic differences between the real and virtual images so real images how are they formed so they are formed by the actual intersection of the reflected rays as we discussed in the previous class also the image you are able to see because the light rays from the source falls on the highly polished surface and also it is falling on you which is falling on you every object non luminous object every object will reflect some amount of light so the so that falls on the highly polished surface and as it be it appears that the image is formed they are intersecting these reflected rays are intersecting that is how we are able to see that image so such type of images that happens in the plane mirror is a virtual image so what was the basic difference you noticed in when it was a real image and the virtual image these images are inverted that's what upside down i wrote now inverted so just you remember this inverted tree inverted arrow inverted arrow so that the images will be inverted here the inver the image will be erect that means they are upright virtual images are erect images and it will be upright like this are 
like this way as we uh, drawn in the uh, previous picture where what i had done and also how they have formed real images with actual intersection in case of pinhole camera actually the light rays are traveling and actually they will inter intersect when you are learning the concave mirror part you will be learning to understand it better so actual intersection of the reflected rays these images are real images are formed but virtual images are formed it is perception only as if they are intersecting behind the screen behind the mirror uh, and they are formed behind the mirror that is what no just now when you are seeing when any any image you it will be not on the surface we will you will you will see see that that will be behind the surface of the mirror so because they are not formed as per as such they are not acts as such the reflected rays are not intersecting they appear to intersect and the images are that is how we are able to see ourselves in this plain mirrors so real and virtual and real images so when you are holding in a, a screen like this a screen like this a screen will be like this white lip, a screen when you are doing the experiments in the lab you will be using white color images a, a white color sheet has to be covered and even this board can be used as a image if suppose we are keeping the mirror and uh, you flashlight is fast we can get it on the screen no children so same way only so here that the but the virtual images cannot be taken on screen cannot be taken on screen anything can be a screen like this the wall can be but real images can be taken or viewed taken we can say or viewed viewed on screen and again i say this is due to the actual intersection of the reflected rays it is just appears that the reflected rays are intersecting and they are formed so now coming back to our uh plane mirror image now you tell me children we are able to see the images in the plane mirror so what type of image it is what type of image we are able to see you observe the pictures given also you can clear closely you can observe that how are the images the images are upright so it is a virtual image when it is upright you can you can easily you can identify it is as, as a virtual image and how is the even here children images no one more thing they can be real they can be virtual and also sometimes they will be magnified means they will be bigger uh, size than the object they will be sometimes they will be diminished also diminished means they are they are not bigger than the object so in the first case when we took a mirror and when we considered an any one object like this you were able to get the image somewhere so that is because this reflected rays just they meet at a point these are the reflected rays which is this is the object the reflected rays i have told you in the ray diagram this is the direct these are the reflected rays light from the source falls on the object and the reflected rays they will pass through the mirror and as if they are intersecting some point the image is formed this is the image so now when we take the size of the image you can see that it is neither not magnified nor magnified it is not enlarged or not it is uh, smaller than the object both are equal in size so now we can uh, object size is equal to the image size here we are talking about the image formed on the plane mirrors one is the virtual image so we differentiated the how the real image will be and we understood that it is upright so that it is the erect upright means erect and the size is also you can see they are the, the sizes of the same size so when you see yourself in the plane mirror it is of your same size yes if you keep a coin the what diameter that coin is having any book is having same diameter only the image also will be having and one more important thing is the image is formed behind the behind the mirror the image is formed behind the mirror can you see this is the behind part of the mirror no children so behind the image is formed behind the mirror how much behind they are how how far it will be so when you measure this distance between the object and the mirror it will be equal to the uh, distance between the image and the object these two distances will be equal which two distances the distance between the object and the mirror and the mirror and the image so that will be equal how can we prove that so as if it is given in your textbook you can take one uh, 
chess board and you can the equally you divide the squares in that you can draw your relay natural in the picture and you can keep the plane mirror and you can move any one thing small thing you keep like the sharpener kept in your textbook keep on moving from one square to another side far and back you will be seeing how how much far you are going back or how much far you are moving how many squares you are moving friend how many squares you are moving back say same way the image also will be moving and every every case it will be proving that the distance between the object and the mirror and the mirror and the image will be equal so that is also one of the characteristics of the uh, image found on the plane mirror and now this image is there no children you hold one screen like this one screen you take and yeah you try to hold it and you can try to by adjusting you try to capture that it will not be we cannot be able to view it on the another side if you stand and you try to view that it will be not possible for you to view the the image on the screen so the virtual image this plane mirror image cannot be caught on the which is called which is formed on the plane mirror cannot be taken on the screen that is one of the characteristics and one more thing it is laterally inverted that means so the size is same head and they are it is upright but when you are lifting your right hand the image will be the image left hand will be put up when you are putting your left hand up you can see that the right hand of the image is put up so that is called laterally inverted lateral inversion so the image formed on the plane mirror also will show the lateral inverted cloak lateral Uh, laterally inverted closely you can see the picture what is shown there you can understand that how it is laterally inverted so these all are the characteristics even just you if you light a candle and keep in front of the plane mirror just as i showed the show the uh, <coughs> pen just now so in the plane mirror like this is plane mirror just if you keep you can see the image and what is that image it is the virtual image and it can be it is the sizes of same size of the object it is uh, it cannot be viewed on a screen and the distance between the mirror and the object and the mirror and the image will be equal and it is also erect that is upright so these are the characteristics of the image formed by the plane mirror children just let us try to note it so that you will understand it so the characteristics means properties characteristics of the image formed by a plane mirror so for everything we have taken so it is virtual because it is erect same size of the object image is of same size of object and shows it is laterally laterally inverted that is right is as left and left as right laterally inverted distance between the mirror and the object and the distance between the mirror and the image will be equal so this can be these all can be you all have this uh, plane mirror everything or at home small uh, mirror you can take and you can Uh, even if you don't have a chess board you can even draw squares on a plain paper and mid you can keep and you can understand all these properties by trying on your own so that you can understand it well so in today's class just we had uh, differentiated real images from the virtual images real image virtual image real image even when you are learning the concave mirror you will be understanding how they are formed and they are formed as as i said due to the actual intersection of the reflected rays and virtual images they are they appear perception only it is appear to be formed due to the intersection of the reflected rays that is happening behind the behind the mirror as if it is behind the surface of the mirror it takes place and also 
we understood how the images how is the what are the characteristics of the image formed by a plane mirror so you try the activities given in your textbook the textbook page numbers textbook chapter line if you take you can see the whatever activities related to the plane mirror whatever is there that you complete it and record it draw the pictures and write your observation and send me the pics and learn this part very well reflection of light so far we have completed light reflection of light some uh, when we learned about so many points about the first introduction part about we recollected about the luminous non luminous all basic properties of light and also we learned about reflection of light and now today's class we learned about the characteristics of the play image found by the plane mirror so image i told you to find out more details even you can extend your learning by collecting more image more information about the real and inverted image real and sorry virtual images and then you learn this and be ready for the next class again bye bye children